In this tip of the day, let's take a look at fixturing that's associated with multi-axis machining. Now, when I talk about fixturing, I'm talking about things like indexers, rotary tables, trunnions, and things like that. Let's keep it simple, and let's start with four axes. Now, in this example, you can see we have the actual housing of the rotary table. We have the plate or table that's going to rotate, and then we have the part. But also notice that everything has its own layer. Now, the naming convention is extremely important. Now, for the name of the part layer, you can name that anything that you'd like. But in regards to the actual fixturing for the four axes, that's important. Everything on layer three is going to be stationary. You can think of this as three axes. So if I turn this on and off, everything on layer three, that's going to remain stationary during the preview. Everything on layer four is going to actually rotate around the fourth axis within preview. Very, very important. Now, if I turn the housing layer off, you can see we have our plate or table that's going to index. How you have this located is also extremely important. Now typically for four axis, you're going to be indexing around the X axis or the Y axis. In this example, we're rotating around the X axis. So it's extremely important that the geometry, the geometry for your fixturing is centered around the X axis. And you can see the X axis here passes right through the center of the table there. Okay, so just a quick refresher. Everything on layer three, that's going to remain stationary during the toolpath preview. Everything on layer four, that's going to rotate around the fourth axis during preview. And to keep things simple, just think of three as three axis and four as four axis. And then of course, everything you have on your other layers, for example, I have a layer here called part, that's also going to rotate around the fourth axis. All right, let's take a look at this now within preview. I'm going to come up here to our toolpath group right hand mouse click and we're going to select our preview toolpaths. There we go. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to restart this so you can see it from the beginning, but you'll notice that everything on layer three is stationary. Everything on layer four, that's considering your fixturing, is rotating around the fourth axis. And of course your other layer where you have your parts located are also going to index. So it's very, very easy to set up within one CNC. All right, now let's take this a step further. Let's take a look now at five axis. Now this works really exactly the same way. With five axis, for example, in this trunnion, again, we have layers and the naming convention is very important. So we have layer three, think of that as your third axis. Everything on layer three is not going to rotate during your toolpath preview. Everything on layer four, that's your fourth axis. That's gonna rotate around the fourth axis during preview. Everything on layer five, in this example for a trunnion, that's our table or plate, that's going to rotate around the fifth axis. And then, of course, any other layers that you have, and in this example, I have a layer called part, that's also going to rotate around the axis. Now, just like before, the location of the geometry for your fixturing is very important. For example, here's our fourth axis, and here's the actual carriage that's going to be rotating around the fourth axis. This is rotating around the x-axis, so it has to be positioned properly. And you can see that the x-axis moves right through the point of rotation for this carriage. Okay, so that's very, very important. Same thing for the fifth axis. Let's turn that table or plate on. That's going to be rotating around the z-axis, and you can see that it's centered correctly as well. Okay, so the positioning of your fixturing is extremely important and the layers that you have your fixture geometry on is also very important. But it's very, very easy to set up. Just remember, three for three axis, four for four axis, five for five axis, and your fixturing needs to be positioned correctly. Okay, let's take a look at this within preview. I'm gonna right hand mouse click. Let's go to preview tool paths. Gonna to zoom out just a little bit. And you can see that one CNC takes care of all the hard work of indexing, the carriage, the plate, and the part. Very, very nice. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.